No doubt in 2021, there's going to be more new gardeners just starting out than in any other previous year. And for good reason. Who doesn't want to grow fabulous, fresh, organic fruits and vegetables for themselves and their family? Self-sufficient food that's not only tastier and more nutritious, but far more cost-effective as well. But if you're brand new to gardening, you may feel that your enthusiasm is going to outweigh your ability. Let's alleviate that stress today and talk about the 15 easiest veggies that literally anyone can grow right in their own backyard. And it starts right now. Gardening can be daunting, I get it, but once you replace the anxiety of the unknown with knowledge and practice, it's one of the most rewarding hobbies or even lifestyles. And the best way to put knowledge into practice is when you plant your first crops. But that's probably where you are right now. Shovel in hand, wondering what the heck to plant. Well, let's build our gardening confidence and start with the crops that give us the best chance at early success. But before we get to that big list, let's quickly talk about what makes one plant or crop easier than the next. Some veggie crops are easier than others, usually for one or more of these four reasons. First, they can be grown multiple times per year. This usually means that their environmental requirements are more generalistic in nature, making them more adaptable and hardy plants by design. Second, the plants have a well-known and documented recipe for success. That is, all the hard work has already been done. Follow the guidelines and you'll be successful. Third, we have plants that are harvested for their leaves and foliage rather than their fruit. What this means is usually less things to go wrong as well as multiple harvests per cycle, allowing for multiple chances at success. And finally, reason number four is crop speed. The faster a crop is, usually the more hardy, robust, and foolproof it becomes. Now, plants can fall into more than one of these categories, compounding those qualities, making them even better for the first time gardener. I'll include the number beside each plant so that we can see what category or categories that it falls in. We're still in the later stages of winter right now, so much of the garden is still dormant, which makes it the perfect time to dive in and look at the 15 easiest veggies that you can plant in your garden this year so you can get your grow on. Starting off our biggie sized list are peas. Whether it's sugar snap peas, snow peas, or shelling peas, these fast growing cool weather pods of awesome are a garden staple. Direct seeding them is best, and these guys can be grown multiple times a year. And not only that, they're a great introduction into the world of staking, trellising, and plant support. Crop number two is carrots, the ultimate quick crop specialist. Carrots can be direct seeded the day of your last spring frost, every three weeks after that, all season long, up until about a week before fall. One of the easier but more rewarding root crops, carrots will also introduce you into the world of thinning. Coming in at number three are radishes. Similar to carrots, except even quicker. These guys can sprout in as little as five days and be ready for harvest three to four weeks after that. Direct sow radishes immediately after your last spring frost as these guys do prefer the cooler weather. And at number four, rounding out our root crops, we have beets. Another direct seeded crop that can be grown in both the spring and the fall. Beets do require thinning, you know, same as carrots and radishes, but these guys are great because they're a double crop in that their leaves are almost as delicious as the roots are. Definitely give beets a try. They even do great in containers. Now we get into the leafy greens, the plants where we're growing them just for the foliage, giving us the advantage of eliminating that flowering and fruiting cycle. Tops and familiarity on that list is lettuce. 
The ultimate leafy green, lettuce comes in a zillion different varieties. This guy right here is a red romaine. These guys can be direct seeded or grown from starter plants. Just don't let it get too hot or the plant will bolt and become bitter. But if you know hot weather's coming, harvest these guys early for baby greens and for added sweetness. Continuing our leafy plants is kale. Kale is Superman's lettuce. Far more robust and hearty than lettuce, kale is the close cousin of the other garden favorites, broccoli and cauliflower. Unlike those guys, however, kale is strictly grown for its leaves, which can be eaten raw or cooked. Growing well in really cold weather, this very undemanding crop can be quite an attractive showcase plant in any level of garden. One of the fastest leafy greens would have to be spinach. Densely direct seeded, this delicious plant is loaded with nutrients and antioxidants. Spinach does best in cool weather and can quite easily be planted in both the spring and the fall. Further adding to the versatility, spinach can be grown in planters containers, and even pots. You know, so you patio growers don't feel left out. Our last leafy green is a relative newcomer to the scene, but what an impression it's made. Arugula, or rocket as it's known in Europe, grows like a rocket. With growth as fast as spinach to match its peppery zing, arugula is a versatile crop, ready for any beginner to get their feet wet. Grow it inside, outside, in pots, or in the ground. This salad amendment is a great choice for fresh greens. Two herbs make this list, and the first up is basil. Originally from tropical Africa and Asia, this culinary wonder has expanded its use worldwide, used for its amazing, one-of-a-kind taste and flavor. Basil is really easy to grow from seed, indoors or out. It germinates quickly and is relatively undemanding of space, light, or nutrients. Harvesting basil is really easy, accomplished by cutting off the tops of the plant, encouraging them to branch out, growing even larger and even more productive. Our other herb is cilantro, otherwise known as coriander. Cilantro is a delicious, potent annual herb grown for both its leafy greens and its fragrant seeds. Cilantro does germinate best in warm conditions, but it quickly adapts to cooler temperatures, allowing it to develop a deep lush green foliage, begging to be put in salads and other dishes. Even though it's easily grown inside or outside, cilantro doesn't seem to last as long as basil, you know, in terms of reharvesting. So while one basil plant may last you the entire year, you might find yourself planting cilantro every three months or so, just so you have a fresh supply. Our next three crops are the heavy hitters of the gardening world. Leading that list are tomatoes, easily the world's most popular backyard crop. When people think of starting a backyard garden, they think of tomatoes. While tomatoes can be challenging, even for the most experienced gardener, they're on this list because the recipe to grow them is all there. What they need and how long they need it for is exactly known right down to the last detail. Grow your tomatoes from either seeds you start early yourself or starter plants that you buy from the store. Tomatoes will take as much sunlight and space as you can give them, so be warned that they'll eat up quite a bit of your gardening real estate. But if you're serious about starting this gardening adventure and you love fresh tomatoes, definitely give them a try. Start out with a smaller bush cherry type if you just want to get your feet wet and then move on from there. The varieties are endless and everyone develops their favorites. Similar to tomatoes are peppers. They're actually cousins. Also in the nightshade family, peppers are a summer staple. A little bit trickier to get started if you're growing from your own seed. However, once established in your garden, you'll find these guys much easier and much less demanding than tomatoes. 
Keep them in the warmest, sunniest place in your garden, mulch them well, and don't let them dry out, especially when the fruit's coming. Peppers are impressive plants, and if you can master them in your first year of gardening, you're well on your way. Lucky number 13 is zucchinis. This amazing squash's popularity is only superseded by its prolificness. Single zucchini plants will produce up to 10 pounds or more of fruit over the summer. You pick one and five more seem to appear. Give zucchini lots of space and as much sun as you can. And don't go overboard with these guys. Two or three plants is enough for an entire family. Do note, keep those leaves trimmed and the plants spaced well, or they can become susceptible to a disease known as powdery mildew. Our lone berry on this list is strawberries. A super prolific summer favorite, nothing beats a fresh strawberry from the garden. Cold hardy, these perennial powerhouses stay planted for anywhere from three to five years before they have to be dug up and dealt with. This makes them super low maintenance and amazingly economical. Not only that, propagating infinitely more plants is so simple, as the main mother plant sends out new plantlings on long stems known as runners. Plant these little gifts up and you can acquire dozens of new strawberry plants for free from just one plant. And to top that off, with the strawberry plants being so shallow rooted, you can even go vertical with these guys, placing them in planters and herb boxes. Amazing. Last but not least, and I know I said there was only two herbs on this list, but we gotta add rosemary. This bush perennial, once established, is dang near invincible. Grown for its fragrant evergreen needles, rosemary fares best in full sun with very, very good drainage. Given optimal conditions, your rosemary plant will explode, introducing the new gardener to the world of pruning. While they can be grown from seed and also from cuttings, do yourself a favor, just spend the five bucks and get a small plant to start with. Even small pots like these are gonna grow amazingly fast. And one more benefit of rosemary, those striking pink, purple, or white flowers are going to attract beneficial pollinators to your garden. Is there anything rosemary can't do? Drawing out, planning, building, and starting a garden for the first time can be daunting. The options are endless, and finding your footing of where to begin can be difficult. But one thing that shouldn't be hard is the plants themselves. By choosing plants that are easier to grow based on how often they can be planted, how much of a recipe for success is available for them, those that forego the expensive fruiting stage and focus on foliage, and crops that produce at a breakneck speed, you can greatly affect your success rate no matter your skill level. By choosing from these 15 crops here, your chances of a fruitful bounty this summer go way up. And hitting on those successes is gonna have a snowball effect on your lifelong career as a backyard gardener. Hey, if you veteran gardeners feel like there was a plant that I left off this list that should have been there, share it with the awesome community down below. Also, if any of you are on Facebook, head on over and join our gardening group called Growing Better. The group has grown phenomenally fast, yet it will never lose its sense of community or its welcoming feel. If you're passionate about growing epic organic fruits, herbs, and veggies for you and your family, the Growing Better group is a great place to hang out, share, learn, and grow. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind, and I'll see you in the next video.